Hey guys, this is Pablo with BND Gaming, and we'll be taking a look today at Black Desert Online for the Xbox platform. Black Desert Online is an MMORPG developed by the Korean company Pearl Abyss and published for Microsoft Windows in 2015, and it has been remastered in 2018 and now actually porting to Xbox One, PS4, and Android device. But as we all know, sometimes when games get ported to consoles, they actually don't live up to the expectations we so much wanted. So I had to take a look, I was given the chance of reviewing that game, so let's get to it. One of the first things that struck me right there and there in this game was the options of classes. Uh, a lot of times when supports for consoles or even mobile games, the class are not there, you don't have many options. This game actually has a lot of options for you to choose from. What I thought was great, it's something that mostly nowadays you've been seeing more and more, but it's not something that happens right away sometimes. So I was really happy with that. The second thing I really enjoyed was character customization, being given a chance to make your character not look just like the next one. It's a great thing. I feel a lot of games seem to fail on that when they port to console. They just want to make everything so much easier for players in the sense of, you know, like starting the game. But they forget individuality. In the most way, and you're talking about an open world MMO. So that was a big plus for me. I was really excited and I couldn't wait to start the game. Now, the things I liked about the game. One of the things I really enjoyed about the game was the capability of clicking on a button and running to the next area where I had to do a mission or a quest. That was really good, and the most because controlling out of a keyboard and mouse sometimes can be really hard on an MMO. So that was a really good thing. Now that was something that I also saw on the mobile version of the game that can be released globally in December. I was really excited, it made me feel a little bit like I was playing the mobile game, but I guess it's not so bad. I cannot say that that's something that you can actually do on the PC version, since I had a lot of problems trying to install the game to do a comparison, but in general that was really good. I did feel a, a couple of issues sometimes when I tried to do that and I had multiple quests logged, but again, I think with time it would be something that I would adjust to. Another thing I really enjoyed, and that's something I have problems with some games, and I had a little bit with Ion, for example, it's the quest. So, I'm not crazy about questing too much. Now, Black Desert Online actually wasn't so bad. The quest kind of made sense. I was actually doing things like attacking, and I wasn't stuck in the same area the whole time. Or having to run an incommensurable distance just to be able to start a quest. That I think helped me a lot. That kind of gave more flow to the game. So I actually enjoyed doing those quests. Also, I didn't feel I had to do the quest when I was compelled to. I could do other things. That really helped. Combat. Combat actually was a lot of fun. Combat remind me of a couple of other fighting games I had. I wasn't so stuck to things, I didn't have to completely point at my enemy to attack him. I just had to move my direction to him and use my attack. And if I was actually on his direction, that would be effective. And if I was looking behind him, it would be ineffective. So that actually made the game more realistic. Yeah, that was really good. I really enjoyed the combat and the most with the class I chose. I can't say much about other classes. I really try to focus in one for now. I'm probably gonna do a comparison later on with different classes. But yeah, I, I actually had a lot of fun with combat. Combat felt fluid, didn't really have many issues like some games do. Now it does take a little bit of getting used to to turn your character towards the enemy, but, but it's just getting used like any game. It wasn't really a major issue for me. Graphics wise, the graphics look beautiful. Um, again, one thing I always say is graphics do not make a game. They may make you enjoy looking at the game, but really the gameplay may be damaged by that. Now, some of the things I had some issues with the game was, well, um, and, and that I can't really say if that's 
My fault is having to do with the internet. When I was playing the game, that was a thunderstorm going, so I, I could say that perhaps that had to do with my internet being interfered with the weather, but I really don't think it was the issue, and it had to do with some of the loading times in some of the more populated areas, where I'm getting to an NPC and I'm saying everything that is underneath him, and it was just like not really good to look at in the beginning, not that I cared, didn't affect my gameplay so much, but it was just weird. The other thing having to do with graphics, in a sense, had to do uh, the NPCs talking, because the voice acting is pretty good, but it's not matching the mouth movement of the NPCs. And for some reason, that's something I did not notice on the mobile version, so for me, when I look at a mobile version that did that better than a PC or Xbox version, it kind of feel weird. And it's something that for me, it really bothers me. That's one issue I have when I see a badly dubbed movie, kind of like the old Shogun movies, where you see the mouth moving and then he says a couple of words, the mouth keeps moving by itself. It's just something that really bothers me when I'm playing. I don't know if that bothers everybody, I don't know if by some chance I was experiencing something that most people don't. Again, sometimes it's even better not see the mouth moving if that's not gonna match, but that's just me I guess, or even more people. One issue, I did find the game, but again, that's something that you, you gotta remember that's a platform port for the game and it had more to do with dealing with the interface but like i said that's a port for a console you do not have a keyboard with a bunch of keys where you can just press i to open inventory so because they had to put in the start button and then you have to move around the whole interface it kind of becomes a little complicated and frustrating because you will spend time every time you have to do something be look at inventory and it doesn't fully take from the gameplay no no i'm lying it does take from the gameplay but i can't say it's their fault because all the buttons are used to do different things so you have to have an interface to go around things like that again it's it just becomes kind of a, it slows you down, but it's something that I guess when you play an online game, you know, most of the one, one that has come out for PC and other platforms, you do have to deal with those things. It, it's not gonna kill your gaming experience, it's just you can't do certain things on the fly as much. You have to kind of like, every time you get to a safe zone, you stop, you go to inventory, you do everything you have to do really quick. But it's something you have to expect when a game is ported to a platform. Now, after looking at some of the other reviews, I realized that some of the issues I had with lagging and all that stuff, it's not just me, and it's something that actually people have been complaining about the game. While they love the game itself, they did feel that Xbox needs to polish a little bit, things to do with the servers, and even some things that have to do with the game itself. So, still, it's a fun game to play, and it's something that you hope it's gonna evolve to something better as time goes by. I'd like to mention that when you buy a game, you expect the game to be complete and not have things to still be worked on. I do have to say that Black Desert Online is a great MMORPG. I will have to give a B- to the game, but it's basically just because of things that still need to be worked on on the game. I saw some complaints about people arguing that there are inspired quests, but I really didn't feel that, at least to this point of the game. As I go playing more of the game, I'm probably gonna do a second review on that later on, probably after I reach Awakening. But until then, the game is still a B-. I do hope Microsoft and Xbox fix the issues with the servers, and I think if they just did that, a lot of the issues that players have with the game would be fixed right away. So yes, it is a game that is worth to buy. It is not a very expensive game, and if you look at the experience you're gonna have, 
it makes the game work. The only thing to keep in mind is Black Desert and it can be for the PC version or even for the mobile ports, it does have a lot of microtransactions. I do not believe that games need to be played using microtransactions very often or even at all, but it's something that you need to keep in mind. And I hope you guys have fun, and I hope you guys like this review. I will have reviews of games, mostly MMOs, coming every week. For the most part, I like well-established MMOs or some of the games that people even consider they're going on live support. So if you guys have any ideas of games that may be in these situations that I should take a look, just let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give me a like, and hit that notifications bell. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you again.